Hello and welcome to the Sons of Thule. Today we are going to do the Bard Epic Quest 1.0. Uh, we're here in the Dreadlands to uh, get, go ahead and get started here. I have all the other characters uh, in a different zone, uh, but we'll deal with them when we need them. Uh, we're going to focus on the Bard today. So let's go and hail this guy. Baldric Sleezuff <laughs> says, hello Stockholm. Don't you think this would be a wonderful place to perform a symphony? S symphony? And then you say, what symphony? It has been my dream for years to perform a symphony that would be remembered for the ages to come. I have run into a few minor snags, however. What snags, my friend? Several years ago, I bought... The sheets of the most beautiful sounding music from a traveling merchant. He did not know the author of the work as it was si simply signed the maestro. The melody I played from them was wondrous and invoked feelings in me that I've never felt before. However, as I reached into the, to the middle of the music, I discovered it was missing two pages. Two pages, you say? What pages were missing? The pages that were missing were pages 24 and 25. I've been searching the world for a spot to hold my symphony, of, uh, symphony, and I have finally found it. Without the music and the new lute crafted by the famous instrument maker Forpar Fizzfla, I do not think I can pull it off. Who is Forpar Fizzfla? For Pa, Fizz Fla is an eccentric instrument maker from Akanon. He makes enchanted instruments that enhance the sound of music. If I am to perform the concert of all concerts, I must have one of his instruments. I went to Akanon seeking to purchase an instrument from him, but he wouldn't even speak to me. What music? It makes me sad to know that the pages of this music may be spread across the world or destroyed. If you find and bring me the two missing sheets, as well as a new loot, I would be happy to repay you in some way. How will you repay me? Baldric Sleaze F pulls a fantastic looking sword from its scabbard and says, I might be willing to part with this wonderful sword if I were able to perform this symp symphony. You would also gain recognition at the opening ceremony er, symphony. Baldric sheathes his sword and begins to hum my haunting melody. All right, so now we need to go find page 24, page 25, and the loot from uh, the gnome and Akonom. Akonom. <laughs> so... Uh, we're gonna go start that. All right, to get page 24, we need to do a sub quest here with Kona uh, Swiftfoot. So let's talk to her. Hello, Stockholm. I am hosting a relay running contest. Would you like to participate? I would like to participate. Great, the prize will be this silly old music sheet. Let me know when you're ready and I will pass you the torch and, we'll, and tell you where the first stop is. I am ready. Here you go. Run this torch as fast as you can to the misty thicket and hand the torch off to Bajio Ijo. He will tell you where to go from there. Hurry, you don't have much time. All right, so we have to get to misty thicket and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get there and we will go from there. All right, we're in the misty thicket. We're right here at the wall, right here. Uh, you take, if you take the book like I did, you just run right here. It's really easy. Uh, we're going to give him the torch. Run onward, my friend, to the far deserts of Roe and give this torch to and Dad Philia. All right, so off to the deserts of Roe we go. All right, we're here in uh, what used to be Southern Roe, uh, which is now just the deserts of Roe, but uh, here we go. The torch of Ro, and that over to him. 
at with Andad. And he says, you still have a ways to go. Seek out Misty Tekchichita <laughs> near the arena at Lake Wrath. Run like the wind. All right, so to the arena. All right, we're here in Lake Wrath. We hand the torch to her. And we received a proof of speed. And that's all she did. That's all she gave us. She didn't say anything to us. And she just taps her foot. All right, so we need to go turn this proof of speed in to uh, Konya back in uh, Western Karana. Okay, we're back here at Kona. Let's go ahead and give her the proof of speed. Excellent. You are quite a runner. Here is half of the sheet of music. I decided to keep the other half because I it has this wonderful signature. I think it might be quite valuable. It is probably worth as much as an instrument from the great Malin. <laughs> the, as an instrument great the great Malin used. All right, so now we need to do a sub quest with another guy to get her to give us the other page. And we need the Malin's mystical bongos. So we're going to head off to South Karana to uh, start the next quest. All right, we're here at Baynar Swift Song. Let's go and hail him, see if he says anything. Please, I'm trying to work here. If you bother me, I will write a horrible song about you and sing it from the mountaintops. So he is... Uh, not a very talkative guy. Uh, but if we just say, what doll? He uh, gives us a note. <laughs> I don't know how people found the uh, the keyword for this. It's not on uh, Alakazam or EQ Progress. Uh, so I don't know how we got to this point. But here we go. What's that you say? You wish to have a doll? I would. Uh, you wish to have the doll I was to give her? Whatever for? Bah, never mind. I rant like an old woman sometimes. I should let her memory go, but I would stop my heart from beating before I forget that child. Here, take this invoice. I have no further use for it. Give it to Marfin Bink Durple. So he is the vendor in Soul A in the gnome section. So we're going to head there. And uh, I'm guessing... Uh, uh, where we end up is going to how we figured out how to get here. So that's what we're going to do. Soul A. All right, we're in Soul A at uh, Marfin. Let's go ahead and hand him the Soul Seek Mining uh, invoice. So uh, there is no uh, lore to that. He gives us the doll. It's a mechanical doll. He says, about time you got your lazy bones down here. I was beginning to worry about you. Thought you'd never pick up a doll. Me, Ken, worked and toiled over at this thing for days. That Baynar sure, was sure exact in every detail. For a special child, he said. Must be some... I just lost the accent there. Must be some child he spent all he had and some he didn't. Still owes us a show anyway. I heard he she passed away some time ago. Give the lad my regards. All right, so I think this is kind of, I think we're doing the backwards here, but uh, I think it'll be fine. Uh, so we got a doll. We need to take this doll to uh, a person in unrest. All right, we're here in unrest next to the gnomish smuggler here and uh, speed lunker, I guess. <laughs> Uh, right here outside uh, the house in the pond. So here is Sarah. This is, I think, where the quest starts, uh, the sub-quest here. She goes, uh, Hello, can you help me? I lost something, and I need it so I can go back home. Something, you say? I never got my doll for my birthday. Before he could bring it to me, I was, I was hurt by the bad man. I can't leave without my doll. Will you please help me? All right, so I think this is what sends us on a chase to uh, go around saying what doll to uh, a random, uh, <laughs> a bunch of random people until we figure out who it is. So let's go ahead and say doll to her. Oh, goody, but I can't seem to remember his name. 
He gave me this note before I... He didn't... She didn't give me a note, so I don't know. Oh, say what note? Alright, then there's the note. Let's see, rip the part, Kinos guards, bards, a guild, a flyer. Uh, it doesn't say anything there. It doesn't have any lore. I hope it will help you out. Please, find him so I can leave this place. Alright, so we can just give her the doll. Like so. And there we go, we get a note for Baynor. Can we read it? Can't read this one. Oh! You have the dolly! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can go home now. Please give this to my father, Baynor. He will understand when he gets it. Bye bye. Alright, so we need to go back to Baynor now and uh, turn the rest of this in. Alright, we're here back at Baynor. So let's go ahead and give him the note and turn that in. And he says, he gives us another note and he says, A note from the child. How can that be? How could she know I was her father unless Crya told her? Forgive me, Crya was the name of the woman whom I was betrothed. Unfortunately, her parents forbade her from marrying a lowly bard such as myself. Her father married her off to a young merchant in Kinos named Malingar. She married him only out of respect to her father. Her heart was truly mine. At least she always said. When Sarah was born, I visited them both often. She was like no other, so innocent, so sweet. In those few years, I watched her grow up and be more and more like her mother, and I saw her none of her father in her appearance. I do not like Malangar, but at least we can do some we can inform him of the death of this child. I saw his caravan pass by here not more than a day ago, headed to Kinos. Alright, so we need to take this note to uh, Malangar in West Karana and uh, go from there. Alright, we're here with uh, Malangar. Let's go ahead and uh, see if he says anything when we talk to him. Uh, he does not respond to Hale, so let's go ahead and give him this note. It has no lore behind it. Alright, give it to him. And he turned into an enraged doppelganger. He says, hold on, <laughs> let's see here. Hmm, what is this? A note from that silly bard, Banor? I wasn't aware that those of his kind could write. Much less read, Malangar lets out a deep laugh. Ha, <laughs> I see you do not share my sense of humor. Let's read it, shall we? Oh no, she's dead. I knew that already, you fool. It was by my hand she died. Oops, did I let that slip out? Silly me. I guess now I will have to let I will have to kill you. And then we can get uh Malangar's head. Uh and uh we got some uh defiant, <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Awesome. So there we go. Now we need to take this head back to uh Baynar back in South Karana. All right, we're back here with Baynar, and we're going to give him the head of Malangar. There we go. And Baynar says, That vile dog, I knew there was something not right with him. The way he star stared at everyone with contempt, even his own wife. I curse him, I curse him to stay upon the realm and deny him what he most desires. This is too much. I cannot pl play or write this day. The sadness overwhelms me in honor of Sarah, the daughter that I was that was denied to me in spirit. I vow never to play this instrument again. It was her favorite, and she listened to me play it for hours on end. Here, take it. Take it out of my sight. Leave me be with my grief and my loss. Wow, that is a sad story. Uh, but we get Malin's uh, mystical mongos, so that's pretty nice unfortunate for you all right so now we need to go back to uh uh west karana turn this into uh, uh konia i think that was her name and we can uh, get the next page all right we're back here at konia and she wants the mystic bongos so we 
No, we don't want to drop those on the ground. <laughs> All right. Let's hand these over to her. Melon's bongo is here. Take the other half of the sheet of music. I cannot really make out what the signature was anyway. All right. That was great. So now we have Maestro's page 24 bottom. So all we need to do is get page 25 now, and that is back in South Karana. All right, to get page 25, we need to talk to uh, Kelkim Minkaya right here. So let's go and hail her, see what she has to say. She sighs as she looks over her loot. My loot was mangled by those damnable knolls. I have no idea how I'm going to get a new set of strings for it. They were so rare. Why are they so rare? I only use the finest loot strings on my loot. My uncle got them for me across the world. His name was Zentric the Worm Slayer. As his name implies, he killed many worms and drakes. The strings for my loot were made all made of guts from worms and drakes he slew. What worms and drakes? The strings were from a chrom... chrom... A chromo... A chromo drake, a red worm, and a huge onyx drake. It always sounded so wonderful. Kelkim sighs, looking off of the horizon as she shakes her loot. Angrily, she says, I'll kill all of you dirty gnolls. All right, conveniently, I already have all of these uh, strings, all of the guts. Uh, hopefully, right now, I'm displaying those uh, different kills in the bottom screen for which ones I have. Some of them I didn't have because my recording was not going, so uh, they're all just named mobs. So the uh, Onyx Drake was from uh, a guy in Wrath Mountains. Uh, what's his name? Blackwing. The chromatic uh, gut was dropped from Eldrick the Old in Skyfire Mountains. And the red worm guts were dropped by Nizki. Nizkinia? <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. In uh, the Burning Woods. And I don't have the video for the chromatic or the uh, red worm. They were opportunistic kills I made as I ran through the zone. So let's go ahead and turn these three into her. Right there, and we get page 25. All right. So now we need to... Uh, oh, she actually said something. Let's see, she snatches the, drink, the gut strings from your hand immediately and begins to string her loot. This is wonderful. I will be able to play my loot again soon. Take this old sheet of music I found. I don't think I will have much use for it. My new desire is to bash knoll heads in with my loot. Save travels to you, Stockholm. All right, so now we need to go talk to uh, faux, pa faux par in uh, Akinon to uh, start his his journey for his uh loot that we need for the next part of the quest all righty so <laughs> to talk to fopar we need a uh we need to get a note and to get the note we need to give a alluring horn to uh this lady here and in the video i think i called it farm spot ocean of tears or uh something sea fairies uh for uh sons of thule here they had a little episode on where we did that and that's where i got this so i've had this in my bag for quite a while so let's uh let's hail her first see if she says anything hello stockholm have you seen the portmaster i'm here to complain about shoddy service all right i'll uh, say shoddy let's see portmaster she doesn't respond I'm just going to give her the horn. Uh, I think uh, there's some kind of... Oh, it says her name on it right here. So that's how you figure out it goes to her. So we'll just give that back to her since I guess she lost it there in the Ocean of Tears. Where did you find this? I thought the Cyclops took it. I am in your debt, uh, Stockholm. T this horn has always been very uh, special to me. Uh, Vidico reaches into her pack and pulls out a note. Do you think you could deliver this... To my gnome friend Fopar, I have not spoken to him in a while, and unfortunately I will be unable to make the trip to visit him. 
if you're looking to have an instrument made he is the man to ask and that's what we needed right there so now we have the note for par it doesn't open it has no more so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to uh steam font mountains and talk to him all right we're finally here at faux par fizz fla <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and hail him first, see what he says. Get out, you pesky wood elf. I don't need any wood elf germs. Out, you filthy beast. All right, so we need to give him this note. So let's so make him like us a little bit better. There we go. And he gave us uh, this. And he says, so you know, Fedico, how is the last? If Fedico would give you the time of day you must be something special what can i do for you i hope you have not come to make me an have me make another mystical instrument mystical instrument you say i have made many mystical instruments in the past each one seemed better than the last i've always had a dream of building the world's best loot but i've yet to have find someone brave enough to gather the components i needed to make the instrument what components do you need good gnome to make the mystical loot, I will first need several pieces. If you bring me the backbone of an ancient fisherman, a strong tentacle from one of the long lost Amalgam gems, <laughs> a petrified skull of a lycanthrope, I may be able to create the head and the neck of the instrument. If you go out and gather these items, make sure to bring me the note I gave you, or I might, might forget who you are. I am getting quite old, as you know. All right, here's the note to himself. All right, so I already have the uh, Kedge backbone. I have the tentacle, the tendril, and the petrified wolf skull. Uh, I believe these are all in other videos. So the Finnegal uh, raid video I did with the Sons of Thule, I got the Kedge backbone uh, with the Kazakh Thule raid, I got the Tendril and the Venril Sathir uh, raid, I got the Petrified Werewolf Skull killing trash in there. So let's go ahead and turn these in. I'll try to link all the videos for all these sub, all the sub quests and sub raids in the description. Uh, if I miss one, please let me know. All right, so we'll get all those given to him. There we go, and he gave us the mystical loot head, and I think that's it. Let me fix my bag, so like that, and then, alrighty, so we've uh, killed Trachanon. There should be a little video somewhere on the screen uh, showing the kill for that, where we turned it in and got the undead. Uh, we turned in the body, got the undead dragon guts. Uh, he said, I don't, I don't have the text anymore, but he said some stuff. I didn't record record it with sound because i was uh it's like 5 30 in the morning and uh i just didn't care all right so let's uh go and give him the body the head and the uh strings there we go and he says goodness i can hardly contain myself this will be my greatest creation ever fopar sits down slides the loot head into place and screws it together after a few minutes, he begins to string the loot with the gut strings of the poison dragon. A wonderful sound fills the air as he strums the loot once and hands it to you. I hope you can find good use for that. I bet you could play it for the from the mountaintops, and the people below would hear you. Thank you, Stockholm, for making my lifelong dream come true. All right, so now we have the mystical loot. We have Symphony page 5, 24, top and bottom. So we have everything we need to get our epic. So we need to go back to our friend in uh, Dreadlands. All right, we're here in Baldrick. Let's go ahead and give him uh, Symphony page uh, 24, top, 24, bottom, the mystical loot, and page 25. Uh, Muldrick looks shocked as you hand him the pages and the mystical loot. I will put on a symphony like th the likes of which the gods have never seen. Thank you so much, Stockholm. Please take 
this sword as my token of gratitude. And uh, here we go. Uh, I'll just put it in the main hand for right now. So this is probably one of the greatest uh, epic weapons in classic era, besides the cleric one. Uh, but I mean, it looks kind of cool. If you, to me, it looks like uh, the Thundercat sword in, in a way. Kind of what it looks like. Uh, let's look at the stats on this bad boy right now. Uh, obviously now at uh, 82, it is not that great of a weapon, but at uh, 60 or uh, anywhere in between there, uh, it's pretty nice. It gives you uh, Dance of the Blade, which uh, is kind of like a little mini attack buff and a haste. And then it also gives the bard performance re reconnaissance uh, 8, which uh, increases the power of all the songs by 80%. Uh, so that makes it act like an instrument for all the instruments, which is kind of cool. Like, I have a Win 22 on my pants, and, uh, uh, what is the other piece that has one? A uh, String 22 on my, on my boots. So, this gives it the ability for instruments on every single, for all the instruments. So, it's really nice. It's a 100 HP item. It's got a decent ratio for, uh, for the era, right? It's not quite one, but uh, it's pretty good. It's got good resists and everything. So it's a really nice weapon overall. So let's see if we can get a nice little thing. But there we go. We completed the uh, also the enchantment or the achievement uh, for the Bard Epic 1.0. So very nice. Uh, let's see what it looks like right here. Let's see if I can get a good screenshot of this. Uh, let's actually go uh, XR real quick. Uh, let's go Ancient XR. So she kind of holds it different as an XR. So it's got more of a... The, the model seems to hold it out like that. So it's kind of cool. And then the uh, the effect you got on it, right? The little the ints, notes and stuff. It's just a really overall nice weapon. And uh, it def so it looks like the Thundercat sword to me. Uh, there may be maybe another sword it looks like, but uh, it's kind of cool. But uh, thank you very much for watching. That is the Bard Epic 1.0. And I hope you have a fantastic day.